YouTube, what's up, C. Smith? Yeah, I decided to do a video on uh, how to get a Serato video to play on an external monitor. I decided to do it because um, I did the little, uh, you know, video on Serato video, but that was just to play it, you know, within the system. I didn't actually uh, connect it to an external monitor. And when I finally did, I mean, I had all kinds of trouble. Sorry if I keep moving. I'm trying to uh, get some better light. All right, um, yeah, I tried to, uh, I had all kinds of troubles, man. I, I sent a message to, uh, you know, Serato, like, hey, how do you get the Serato video to play on the external monitor? Um, the video was too dark. You know, it was still setting a little default dark. Um, and then I couldn't get the, uh, the actual video to expand on the screen. So what I'm going to do is uh, basically walk you through um, how to, you know, get Serato video to show on the external monitor this is one of my actual mobile monitors that's why I was just kind of sitting on the box but um all right so I'm just gonna walk you through step by step all the way through I'm gonna open up the program oops all right and then for uh for Mac users you need this de device here I think it's called like the thunder cable or something like that and you plug it into uh, the output with the little thunderbolt Oops. and this is basically an adapter with the uh, HDMI end on it alright after that you get your HDMI cord I'm doing this with one hand so Forgive me if it's a little, a little rough. Alright, connect there, and then you run that from here to your monitor. To the, uh, of course, the HDMI input. Alright, let's turn the, uh, the monitor on. Can't see it, but oh well. All right, it's on. It should read the computer, and then jump to its default background. All right, there it is. And now, the body is not connected. device is connected as you can see and you gotta love technology so I'm not even gonna pause or edit this video I'm gonna have y'all run right through this with me okay had to work with the plug a little bit all right so uh, from there we click on video we want to go to this router video now Get my videos here. All right, we're gonna load the video on the deck one. Okay, now you see this little uh, option here that says link. Basically, yours is gonna be set at the default setting of about right there. Now, when you play the video. Um. You notice that the difference, the uh, the video showing, you know, within the system is all super bright, but the one that's going to show on the external monitor is dark. And I couldn't figure out for the life of me how to get this video to look like this video. So after messing with a bunch of stuff, I figured out that this button here, I mean, this uh, option here, once you, you the higher you slide it. The lighter the video gets, so, um, as you can see, the lower it is, the darker, the higher, the lighter. Okay, so now that's set. You know, you got the, the brightness that you want, and you want to. All right, so this is the the screen that you'll use to, uh, you know, to drag over to your external monitor. 
So I'm gonna drag it. All right, I'm gonna drag it. And there it is on my external monitor. Now I was having a problem of how to blow this up. Normally, you could, you know, click on the edge and then drag it and stretch it. You know, stretch it to fit your screen. But for this, you gotta. I lost my space. All right. Uh, anyway, see this little uh, icon here with the four arrows. You gotta click on that. You click on that, and it automatically fits your video to the screen. So now you got a perfect uh, the light and the actual uh, the video ratio on the screen is perfect. But again, your default settings is going to have this option here, like way down here. So it's going to look like that initially. So you got to slide that all the way up or to the you know the level of brightness you want. And then once you activate that smaller screen, you have to click that again. Once you drag it over to your external monitor, click it again, and then it automatically adjusts itself to whatever screen you got. It took me like an hour to figure this out. I never got a response back from Serato, so I kind of had to figure it out myself. And anyway, I figured everybody else would probably have the same problem. So anyway, there it is. How to play videos using the Serato DJ and the uh, DJ.